Bolt.new is a new startup that is making waves in the developer community. Bolt. Bolt. Bolt.new. Bolt. In this video, I thought I'd explore their brand new feature that turns a Figma design into a pixel perfect piece of code that you can have on a mobile app or a website. Here's a preview of what you'll learn in this video. First, we'll take a look at how to connect up Figma so that Bolt can access all your designs. Then I'll import a number of these. The process is pretty simple. All you really have to do is a right click onto a design, select to copy the link URL, and then head back over to Bolt and paste it into the Figma importer. This will run in the background for a couple of minutes. And once it's done, you'll have a website built in React using Vite. And I can view them all in this VS Code-like interface, including the React code, the data elements, as well as a preview of the design just over here. The fact that I can import these in just a few seconds is already mind blowing, but there are a few other things that I wanted to point out as part of this process, which can be useful if you're a designer or a developer. Let me start by importing my very first Figma design, which is just this one component for a pricing list I put together. It's made with auto layouts, which means that each element can be dragged and moved about. And this also gives the importing process a little bit more information on how to design the component itself. Heading back to Bolt, I'm gonna select import from Figma. This will require me to log into my account, both in Bolt and on Figma so that it can create an API connection between the two. Once this step is completed, then a Figma and Bolt will now be connected to be able to communicate between each other. Heading back to the home page, when I select import from Figma now, I can paste in a URL. You don't wanna grab the URL of your Figma page. Instead, you wanna grab the URL of your Figma frame. This is ideal since it's going to be using this as a reference to create the component or the page you're after. Bolt will go in the background and download all the images, assets, and things like S SVGs and build a new project on Vite with React.js with variables and separated components using class names from Tailwind CSS and sometimes some manual styling too. I can then preview the design to make sure that it's the same as the original. And next I can go about customizing it. Now that I've got the design imported, I can actually start using Bolt to customize some of the elements, such as using the element selector over here. Then I can simply chat along requesting changes, like changing this price from $19 to $50 per month. Bolt will jump back into the code, rewrite the component itself to update with the new values and spit out the new design. And if I don't want to make granule changes, but it changes to the whole, I simply just make a prompt like this one here, where I want this entire pricing component to reflect a design course that I might want to sell. And so that all the feature items aren't just generic placeholders, but actual components that look like they're written for a design course. Once done, I can simply download all the files or publish or deploy them to Superbase. Now for something more complex, like this homepage design, which is made for something like searching properties. And this is made by a professional designer. And it's one that I would normally have to code out before I can start using. Since Bolt's new Figma plugin is built on top of Anima, we're gonna read their documentation on how to best make sure that we can import designs cleanly. First, we need to make sure that we don't have unlabeled layers as well as frames. It's something I see all the time. Even this example over here is just called frame one. I'm gonna rename it to desktop size 1440 by 2910 since the height is pretty big, but this will give our AI a little bit more context as to what the design of this should look like. For layers inside of a frame, it's useful to frame them as well. Like this navbar, I'm gonna right click to frame the selection and then I'm going to rename it, calling it navbar once more. For this example, I'm just gonna quickly label them and I would even recommend expanding out all the groups and layering all the child layers as well. Finally, one of the most useful things to do for part of the import process is to have auto layouts set up for the designs in Figma. These allow you to move elements left or right or up or down, and when combined with a bolt, they'll make sure that those components are designed properly when coded. Now that we're done, I'm going to copy the link selection once more from Figma and paste this into the Figma importer. And here's that import now finished coding. You can see it right over here. I can check how it works both on desktop as well as in the mobile viewports. 
and I can head into the code to see exactly how all of this is put together. As someone who's been designing and coding for a long time in React, HTML, and CSS, this all makes a lot of sense to me. But if I was someone who was coding for the very first time, or someone who's always converting a lot of the designs, this would be invaluable, because it gives you a better understanding of how you should be structuring different types of elements for them to all work together. Just like previously with the component, this web page can now be customized using general chat. Bear in mind that the examples I've shown you so far are literally just for importing Figma designs. Bolt.new is a pretty powerful tool that has been used to create all sorts of things, including 2D RPG games, racing simulations, and even physics-based 3D engines. But for me personally, I get a lot of value out of simply being able to build up really quick MVP IDs or mobile applications on tools like Expo or Vite or Next.js. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a big thanks to Bolt.new as I was planning to make this video and I reached out to them and they were kind enough to sponsor it and make it happen.